It is April, and that means it's white shark season in Southern California. Traditionally, April has been the month when white sharks begin to show up in greater numbers across Southern California waters. It's also the month when more and more humans begin to enter the water. As it warms, scenes like this are much more commonplace. This is two juvenile great white sharks essentially sizing each other up. The smaller shark heads the other direction, but interestingly, it heads right up to the surfers nearby. As the shark approaches, it displays its fin. Yet the surfers never saw either shark. These scenes seem to happen daily. Further down the beach, four great white sharks are near the shore. You can see they all vary in size, with two of them much larger than the smaller ones. As I continued to observe them, it was pretty obvious the paddleboarder did not see any of them. As is the case most often, the paddleboarder ends up in the path of one of the sharks the path of one of the larger sharks. This stand-up paddle border gets an up-close view of a nice-sized juvenile great white shark. The following encounter then occurs. It's clear the shark reacts. It even turns its head to size up the stranger. Paddle boarders tend to have a better view of sharks given the viewing angle they have. Here's another encounter filmed just last week. This time, it's a smaller shark. You can tell its size by comparing it to the board. The first question most folks have is always concerning the size of the shark. In this case, the board is a minimum of 10 feet. It's a fair assessment to estimate this shark is in the 8 to 9 foot range. With so many young sharks in shallow water in Southern California, and with so many humans swimming, the scenes I've just showed you will likely continue to occur, especially when the sharks are this close. You can even see them in the waves. but it's when they are in the shallow waters that I get my clearest views of interesting behaviors. One of those behaviors has white sharks actively moving their gills. Here's what I'm talking about. Notice how the gills flare out as this shark dives. Simply as an observer that I am, I'm not certain about this behavior, what it means, but it sure does happen often. Here's another shark doing the same thing. Again, it always leaves me in amazement. Here's another example, this time just a little bit differently. Watch the gills closely in this clip. This was done in response to another shark nearby, just out of frame. 
I'm going to continue to research what's going on for a future episode, but for now it's safe to say it's pretty interesting behavior to observe in the wild. Speaking of the wild, by now we should all be aware that sharks are nearby, at least in Southern California. And as I've shown time and time again, these sharks are usually either in the waves or just behind them. Sure, most of the sharks I film are juvenile white sharks, but as I film more and more, I've noticed people have and are getting more comfortable around them. That's not necessarily a bad thing. However, it is wise to remember that there are some very large sharks on California's coast as well. Sharks that may not always play by the rules. This is a small young of the year great white shark. It's roughly five to six feet long. And this is a 12 to 13 foot long sub-adult white shark in the waves. No humans were nearby when I filmed this, but it's quite apparent the difference in size. If you look closely, you can even see the scars on this shark's head as well. Here's another shark, this time a mature adult in the 16 foot range, just 200 yards from shore. It's a good reminder to not get too comfortable. Coexisting does require a rational approach. It's not the sharks that intrigued me in the following clips. Watch closely and you'll see. I'm talking about the birds. Notice this pelican takes a nosedive right into the water, just feet away from the shark. Moments later, it happens again, right next to the shark. To the casual observer, it may seem mundane, but to a nature lover, it's intriguing natural behavior. I've witnessed sharks grab a pelican right from the water's surface before, so to see pelicans diving right next to one, well, it made me wonder, just how many natural occurrences am I missing? These juvenile white sharks are so intriguing to me, I have no option but to continue filming them. Thanks for watching.